I had Cassie, no idea. Cassie, I it's had okay. No idea. It's okay. Really, it's okay. I want to be here. You don't understand. No, I, I do. I do understand. You're you're feeling bad for me. And maybe even a little guilty that I, I lost my baby and you were blessed with hope. But you know, that's it's life. And you are blessed, you and Edmund both. You have a beautiful, beautiful little girl. And I, I want you to celebrate that today, okay? And look, I, I got something for you. Uh, I'm Shell, no. Um... No, yes, please, I, um... There's just some things that I, I had uh, bought for my baby the day I found out that I was having a girl. And I really want your little girl to have them. God, open it. fun to have a little girl, a little sister for Robbie to spoil like crazy. And I think that the face she just made, it's, uh, it's the exact same face that, yeah, that Robbie made when he was this age. Cassie, what do you mean you can't accept these? Of course you can. I want you to have them for hope. Look, I want you to stop feeling bad for me, okay? And let me be happy for you. Let me be happy that your baby is alive and healthy and is gonna grow up in a wonderful life and a loving home. I, I take comfort in that, I, I really do. That's why I came here today, because I wanted to be a part of something positive before I leave town. You cannot leave town. I want you to know something, I love hope. Of course you do. She's your child. I loved her from the minute I laid eyes on her, the moment that I held her in my arms. Because she's a part of you. I had no idea. You Michelle, had no I... idea that you could even love her without even giving birth to her, right? It's because your instincts just take over you. you. You hold that baby in your arms, and, and you realize that they need you, and they depend on you, and your heart just fills with love. You gotta stop, please. You gotta stop, because I have to tell you something. I have to tell you the hope. I'm sorry to interrupt, but Hope's inside with Danny and Michelle, and, and she's fussing, and they can't seem to quiet her down. I've been able to quiet her down. I think she needs her mother. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a try. Do you, do you mind? Would you, Michelle? That'd be great. They're just inside. Thanks so much. Okay. Look, do you mind if we just leave without saying goodbye to everyone? I know no, that sounds kind of, of rude, but uh, I'm going to write Cassie a note. I've just been about as noble and upbeat as I can be today. Yeah. I can tell. <sighs> Yeah, they're boarding for your flight already. All right, bud. Come here. So you ready? You're gonna be living with Grandpa Ed. Are you excited? What do you mean? You love Grandpa Ed. And California's awesome. It's gonna be warm all the time, and there are beaches, and the oceans. You can go swimming. You come too, Daddy. Uh, well, I, I, you know, I would love to, but I can't. I've got to stay here. And, but I'm going to visit you all the time. And, you know, come here. Come have a talk with me. Because you're going to come visit us, too, in Marina and Uncle Rick and Aunt Mel. Hey, Michelle. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm sorry I got your hopes up about the baby. It's all right. No. It's not. You were trying to move on with everything, and I just made things worse. Well, it's gonna be a long time before I ever get over it. If I ever do. It was a, a really terrible thing. But right now, I'm just gonna, um... try to think about the good things in my life that I'm grateful for. Like Robbie, you know? And I'm gonna focus on that. 
Grandpa Ed told me that there's another little boy who's just about your age who lives right next door. So as soon as you get there, maybe you'll have somebody to play with. Maybe even a new friend. Can I have a little brother or sister too? <laughs> well, maybe someday, bud. Maybe someday down the road. Hey guys, I hate to break this up, but they've already started boarding our section. You ready to go on a big adventure with mommy? Okay, this means you and I have to say so long, but just so long for now. I'll see you real soon. I promise. You wanna give me a hug? I love you, little man. Take care of your mommy, okay? I'll see you real soon. I'll call you first thing tomorrow. Hey, Good Robbie. Flight. You wanna uh, hold your boarding pass and give it to the flight attendant? Hey, do I get a hug too? Come on, let's go over here. How many times have we done this, huh? Uh, too many. So, why don't we just say, see you, know, you see you soon? Okay. Final call for flight 43, non stop to Long Beach, California. All passengers must board immediately. Be happy, okay? You too. How you doing? If the baby had lived and had been yours, I would have stayed. I would have fought for you. Are you ready, baby? I am not a baby. Oh, that's right. You're not a baby. What am I thinking? Let's go. See you, Slocker. Where is she? Where's, where's Michelle? I have to see her. Well, she... No, it's too late, O'Neill. She's gone. She's... Are you sure the uh, plane has pulled away? I really need to speak yes. to somebody on the plane. Only for a security issue. O'Neill, oh, what's going on? Why do you need to talk to Michelle? Uh, uh Cassie had a, uh, What? Had a gift that she forgot to give to Michelle. But I guess we'll have to send it to her. You have her address, right, in California? Yeah. Yeah, this is a gift? I mean, I, the way you're acting, I thought it was an emergency. Oh, God, you know what, Danny, I'm sorry. I've, I've really got to get back to, to Cassie. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I didn't see a gift. Did you? From now on, home is anywhere we're together. And Daddy, too. I think I kind of actually would have understood if you decided to go with them. Don't tell me you didn't at least think about it. I thought about it. I'm sorry. Hey, station log said that you uh, came up here to patrol the roof. So what's up, Cooper? I'm actually off duty. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. I just, I needed to talk to you about Michelle and Edmund. What's going on? You know those questions that I had about Michelle's accident? Yeah, you mean the ones you dropped? <laughs> yeah. Well, there were so many things that just didn't add up. Danny, I couldn't let it go. I actually thought for a while that maybe Michelle's baby was still alive, but I was way off base. And it turns out that Michelle's baby didn't make it after all. I have proof now. What, what kind of proof? The case is closed. There are no loose ends. I know that this must all come as kind of a shock to you. Marina, the only shock is that you lied to me. 